Squatting Quads, home of the honest FPV review. So you've got yourself a tiny walk. You've got into the hobby and you're provided with one of these, a Happy Model 1S charger. It needs to be plugged in to an XT60 or a high powered USB port or a DC jack. But you're brand new to the hobby. You don't have such things. You bought a tiny whoop to get into the hobby, to make the entry point easy. And you're provided with this. This, this is no good. This, this will charge batteries. I find personally it doesn't charge them properly and pragmatically in such a way to provide a perfect flight performance. Step forward, VFly and the new Toothstore 2S Lipo Charger. You see, the other problem with the thing from Happy Model that most people generally tend to get hold of one way or another is it's only a 1S charger. And if you've picked up any of the decent tiny whoops that I've been recommending, be it, we won't talk about the flywheel, we've got issues with the flywheel, be it the Beta FPV Pavo 20, be it the Mobular 8, or anything else potentially that we'll review on the channel later. But how are you going to charge? You're going to need a decent 2S charger. Now there's USB ones that you can plug in. Again, they just don't provide the, 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 the power required and the usability is also quite challenging. So VFly stepped forward and provided me with a tooth store and a whoop store. And as you can see, they are both exactly the same size. The whoop store will charge six 1S batteries and the tooth store will charge four 2S batteries. Now, all you need to do is put the balance leads in for the 2S ones. They do have the um, Beta FPV proprietary. I assume for VFly and Beta FPV are probably the same company because it has their proprietary plugs, but you don't need to do that. So you just put your balance charger in, or your balance lead in, and we'll go through what the screens look like, how they compare to each other, and how to charge them. Just to clarify, VFly send me these for free for review they have no uh, i haven't been paid for the review they have no editorial control over the review and i have no talking points that i'm required to hit they literally reached out and sent me both of these and that's it so you know i will see as i see and i will call as i call as i have called so you people come here for the honest reviews um there is a real problem in the community whereby people are pushing just just the fake buy this is brilliant because i'm sponsored by them i don't do that okay so let's have a look at these chargers and let's see if we can recommend them or not okay so first of all how do we power it well i personally have a 90 watt charger by show me for my mobile phone that is more than enough to power this and to charge four batteries at once. It actually says it needs an input voltage range of between 10 and 26 volts. So you can charge it from a 6S. Um, minimum power input is 65 watts. So if you've got a mobile phone charger with 65 watts, perfect. If you haven't, you may need to get something a little bit more powerful, but these, these 90 watt chargers are fairly cheap anyway, to be fair. And also if your phone is capable of doing it, they're brilliant. It also tells you as well on the back that the storage voltage is 3.8 volts and it will charge high V, high voltage, LIHV and LiPo batteries. Maximum current charging per port is 1.5 amp. And does the Whoopster have the same specs? So let's have a look. So the minimum input power for the Whoopster is 40 watts in comparison. That'll also take a six, up to a 6S battery as well. The maximum charge per port on that is 1.3 amps. Again, it'll do LIHV and LiPos. And again, it tells you your storage voltage is between 3.8 and 3.85. Now, I pride myself on being newbie friendly for, for want of a better term. The reason why I read out things like that, that most people in the community will scoff at, oh, I'm not reading that out. People, people watch, people know, and people understand these things. But like I say, I pride myself on being friendly to the to the newbies or to the experienced FPV pilots or even to people who want to get into FPV. So what does storage voltage mean? Why is it so important? So if you charge your battery up to 4.2 volts and just leave it, 
that's quite dangerous. That's where the maximum chemical reaction could potentially happen, and that's where maximum problems will arise. But equally, I went out flying yesterday. I can't fly today, we're in the middle of a storm. So I went out flying yesterday. I flew my battery down to 3.4 volts. It shouldn't really get it so low, but I was enjoying myself a little bit too much. Came back, and the first thing I did was I put it back on charge to 3.85 volts. Because if you leave it too low, and those cells start to drop and drop and drop, once they get to a certain level, they'll die. And I've done this, sadly, I've learned by my mistakes from my RC car days many years ago where I came back so excited to review the footage that I got and I left it plugged in and I didn't notice for six months. Went back to it and every cell was dead. So it's really important that you try and keep it at storage voltage, which is between 3.8 and 3.85 volts per cell. How do we know what's per cell? Well, we'll have a look at these charges now and we'll show you how to see it and where to get it and how to set it and whether it's any good. And just very quickly before we look at the the screens what they mean plug some batteries into the tooth store i'm going to show you with a 6s pizza drone what does this say warm-up heavily used pack this is a 6s lipo and you can plug it directly into the side and away you go now the first thing that we can see that the new tooth store provides us with in comparison to the slightly older Whoop store three, I keep headbutting my microphone. Is the screen is slightly larger. Now, both screens can essentially display the same information, but I'm just gonna plug some batteries in to the tooth store. And as you can see, as we plug them in, it brings up the information on the screen. So we can see, we've got the first button here, which is start, start on current set. So if you press that once, in the top right here, you can see it changes the current all the way up to that 1.5 that it says on the back. And again, just to be newbie friendly here, 1.5 amps, what you would do for that would be a battery of a capacity of 1,500 milliamp hours. The biggest battery I've got on this is a 1000 so i would set that particular channel to 1.0 i've got a 550 an 850 and a 720 so the 720 i'd set to 0.7 the 850 to 0.8 and the 550 to 0.5 if you're unsure about this just drop a comment below and i'll i'll help you out so the second button is we can hold it down and it will turn off the beep and you can see the little silent icon in the top right hold it down again and it beeps again and if you cycle that button, it goes from 3.8 to 3.85 to 4.2 to 4.35. Please only charge to 4.35 if your battery is definitely a LI, LIHV. Otherwise, you will cause yourself problems, potentially set fire to your house. You don't want to do that. That's a really bad thing. I know I speak from experience, not of drones, thankfully. But that's another story for another day. So we can, if we go to... 3.85 and we'll set the current to 0.5 because that's the lowest of the batteries they're not independent channels unfortunately if you then hold the start button down we can now see that three batteries is discharging and one battery is charging we know that sorry the other way around yeah three batteries discharging one battery is charging sorry we know that because if we look at one three and four we can see that the individual cells are 4.2 4.25 4.27 4.29 so we know that's a fully charged battery and if we go and have a look at channel number two that's on 3.84 so that that essentially is at storage voltage but because i put it to 3.85 it's going to bump it up just a little bit and that's it it's as easy as that. You can walk, well, I'd never recommend walking away from lipos and charging them, but these relatively are a lot safer than, than the majority of the lipos that we use. The Whoop Store, again, is, is very, very similar. Um, you just select with the right button for the voltage, so 3.8. Select the current, so these are all, well, these are all 450 and 150, so just to be on the safe side, we'll set it to 0 0.4, and then just hold the button down, 
and there we go. So it's actually said that the majority of them are charged at exactly the right amount, except for one, that it's just gonna top up ever so slightly. And as we can see, the work is being done by the tooth store on those as well. And that's it. It really is as simple as that. Now, compare and contrast for two seconds the Happy Model one that I showed you at the beginning. If we plug this Lippo in and we plug one of these into this like that, well, we've got a light on. We don't know what the current voltage of it is because we're on channel four at the minute. Now we're on channel five, now we're on channel six, and we still wait. Then we still wait. And now we know on channel one, 3.95. If we have a look at the switches, you can see 4.2, 4.25 in the left, and then 0.2 amps and 0.6 amps on the top. It does a job. Which one would you prefer to use? Would you prefer just to plug it in using your mobile phone charger? It's a couple of buttons where you can very, very easily see which cell, individual cell, is at what level, or would you prefer to use something? like this happy model let me know in the comments below this is the home of genuine honest fpv reviews that will never change no matter who offers to send me products if those products have issues i will call them out the only thing i would say so we can see now on the tooth store that one of them has actually turned to green the only thing i will say in fairness is that I wish each channel was independent so i wish that we could say we want channel one to go up 0.1 amps and channel 2 to go 1.0 amps we can't do that and that's a shame but it's not a deal breaker this is probably one of the nicest charges we've had for tiny whoops ever um and you know i may be slightly blinkered because i am one of the og crew and i remember how bad it used to be so even this happy model thing isn't that bad in comparison to what we used to have um but it's still not brilliant you know it really really isn't um but in comparison to this to this the v-fly stuff the v-fly stuff is is absolutely phenomenal so i would genuinely genuinely recommend that you pick one up i'll leave a link below these are not affiliate links that is important for me to say they are not affiliate links so i make no money from this review so that's it really i would recommend if you're looking at a 2S or a 1S tiny whoop, pick up one of these tooth stores or whoop store 3s. Link is below. You've all been amazing. I've been Quads. Until next time, take care.